it is a really a great honor to be here. Uh, and I uh, just do a, a lightning talk a presentation for five minutes. So uh, just a, a pure user experience from Taiwan. And I'm also a fan of um, LibreOffice, even though I'm not a uh, technologist. Um, I'm, my major is education and cultural study. So this uh, topic is uh, my research, uh, qualit qualitative research uh, uh, conducted in 2019. And it's p totally uh, common people's usages from Taiwanese uh, undergraduate students. So my finding would be like um, the Confucianism uh, is a way of a traditional practice. Uh, hinder somehow hinder the Taiwanese people to understand uh, the liberal office and uh, to use it more. Uh, but uh, some backgrounds uh, keeps uh, the liberal office uh, was uh, popular and was well known in Taiwan. So um, the some key points of my abstract is that um, uh, this uh, research was conducted in 2019. Uh, with a general course uh, with uh, 67 students and uh, 38 students are, are willing to participate in this research. And I assign them uh, to have two kind of assignments, one written with writer, the other one is written in, in press. And uh, I collect their assignments and also their feedbacks about the the user's uh, experience of LibreOffice. And most of them are the first time to use a uh, writer or impress. And my finding is that um, there are two values uh, in, coming from Confucianism, uh, influence the students to understand the LibreOffice more. One is thrift, the other one is respecting authority. Why would it be like that? Uh, I will introduce a little bit about the backgrounds. Um, the Taiwanese government has declared open document format as an official usage in the uh, official document format uh, to communicate with doc uh, governmental units from uh, 2015. And uh, there are two waves of promotion, 2015 and 2018. So my research is on the second wave. Uh, and also uh, join the competition with the governmental funds and got a further prize. So I got a prize and the money to travel here to show this presentation. So um, that's why uh, most people, most Taiwanese people know liberal office, but uh, they are only use it to deal with the official documents. And, but uh, when they want to do their personal personal presentation or, or uh, writing, they will use the Microsoft Office mainly. And in this research, I, I mentioned Confucianism as a traditional thoughts and the cultures that are Taiwanese shared, rather than the philosophy. So the, I, I collected uh, the data and uh, using the uh, theme as uh, categorized uh, to for their, their feedbacks. But uh, I cannot show all the feedbacks. So I, I printed out uh, as a handout, a uh, hard copy up in the back of the uh, conference room. So if you are interested about the whole categories, you can just take out one page. And, uh, but I just highlight uh, four points. Uh, the first one, use the writer usage, similar to words, is 29 out of um, 38. Free of charge is the um, most concern, 13 of uh, 38. And uh, about the impress, most students do not understand, or do not heard about or use it before, 30 of 38. And 10 of uh, 38 thinks that uh, impress is better than PowerPoint. And my finding is that um, uh, the two values, uh, the thrift and also uh, respecting authority hinder uh, the students to understand the liberal office more because uh, they think that um, a free of charge one um, may not compete to uh, a profit one. So that's, of course, is a, a bias and a, a limitation uh, to hinder them to understand more. 
And the other one is that uh, most of people use uh, uh, Microsoft Office, so they respect uh, most people's choice. So they don't even want to pay uh, time or attention on the alternative choice. So, uh, so that's I think is a, a, a shortcoming because uh, when when the Taiwanese government uh, promote uh, liberal Office as a, a way to com to combine the culture's issues, but on the other hand, it hinders uh, the real uh, values and the real um, uh, inspiration of a free software movement. So that's my uh, presentation. And if you like to leave some uh, feedbacks, uh, please just use the QR code, or you can also take the handouts uh, I put on in the back of the conference room. And also, I have an online course, my personal course, uh, in my university. It's talking about the digital divide. It's from 6.30 AM to 7 AM before our conference. So if you are interested in uh, sharing with some ideas with the uh, multicultural students from Ethiopia, Kenya, Indonesia, Vietnam, and Taiwan, of course, so please uh, join my personal online course and talk with my students. And it's in the QR code feedback as well. Thank you. Of course. I didn't manage that it was a lightning talk, so <laughs> by the way, there is time, so uh, I would like to have a question for you, and uh, uh, yes, the question is, uh, uh, I read about and, and heard you and listened to you about this, uh, how to say, philosophy of um, being confirmed to all the other, the same and less, you know, but uh, since the government have ch has chosen the different format, and thus we may say somehow, the different software, which is, I mean, uh, kind of fighting against himself, you know, for, for those students, for those people. Uh, on one hand, they have, you know, the, 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 uh, the, com the conformism to, to use the, the old software, but the other hand, they have the government, which has chosen an innovative way, an innovative route. So uh, how do they, uh, perceive this decision from the government regard to the conformism philosophy they uh, you, you have uh, in your habit and confusion and thank you okay uh, thanks for the question and um, well, if I get it right um, my understanding of uh, how the Taiwanese people or the most people common people know about how the government uh, push uh, using the liberal office because uh, and their promotions mainly talk, talking about this, this is a free charge and, and you can save money to use this. So that's, that's why they want to try it and since they can save money. So that's a, uh, somehow a shortcoming as well because when they understand the label is only just as a superficial uh, benefit, it cannot uh, un uh, give them the, the opportunity to know more about it, like this uh, wonderful community and also the idealism uh, which uh, push us to go further. So that's uh, the, the point that I want to share that um, the Taiwanese promoters that we need to focus on more about uh, the core issues, the ethos of uh, uh, free software movement rather than the the very vivid uh, uh, benefits of uh, the whole uh, practice. Thank you. That's one of my <laughs> understanding about this issue. Um, uh, yeah. Please. I was wondering um, how you, you come to the conclusion regarding the, the motivations um, uh, the, the survey participants have, because in other countries as well, a lot of people they're introduced to the Libra office and I not just rush to adopt it with, with other, specifically with Microsoft Office, which is more familiar and more popular. 
So how can you tell that this is due to a specific Taiwanese uh, cultural aspect rather than just a general reticence of adopting uh, a new piece of technology? Thank you. And that's the other uh, cultural issue that I mentioned is uh, authority respecting. Because in Taiwan, when the government say, oh, you can try this, and uh, you need to use this uh, in operating uh, the governmental document, the people they need to do that, because that authority says that. And, but uh, they will respond to it as like, oh, since you ask me to do this, I will do it as just a, um, a, a response. And they don't pay much attention on it. So it's, it's not a good way to promote it, from my personal understanding. And uh, on the other hand is that uh, when I ask the students to do this kind of research, uh, it's because I'm a teacher and I ask them to, to do the assignments. So they need to do it, but, uh, but when they uh, uh, encounter liberal, some students will feedback uh, to me that, oh, it's wonderful and it's very powerful, it's uh, innovative, very, uh, has many potentials to learn, to do with it, but uh, they don't have the chance to touch it uh, in their young age. So, so that's the, other thoughts that I want to do uh, now is like uh, like promoting in my course and like to share the idea or the experiences of this one for conference. Like tomorrow morning, I will share with the whole idea just to share with my uh, students. And some of them are Indonesian um, university teachers uh, as well. So I think they will be very interested in like the personal, real. Uh, encounters rather than the authorities say doing this. So that's, that's the, the other way I want to do <laughs> on the reverse of the government or the authority. Thank you. Okay, I think that's a question. It's under review, it's under review. So uh, I hope it can be published. And like secondary review is in process. Thank you. So I think that's all. Thank you very much and thanks for the time. Thank you.